Hey there, this is Ranjit and I have this Acer Liquid E700 with me and in this video I'll show you the benchmark scores and we'll also be doing the gaming with this device. And this is a unique device that has triple sims. Uh, let's look at the configuration first using CPU-Z then I'll show you the benchmark scores and then we'll do some gaming. And as you can see it is powered by a quad-core MediaTek processor and the GPU is the Mali 400 GPU on this. The screen is a, a 720p HD screen and the screen quality is decent. In terms of battery life, the battery is sealed inside but the battery life that I'm getting on this device is incredible. And these are the sensors. There are not a lot of sensors but the basic sensors are provided on this device. Uh, let's move on. One thing uh, some of you have asked, uh, these touch tap capacitor went back home and uh, this is for the multitasking. These are not backlit and we can just hit this and it kills all the apps. I've also run the Antutu and uh, Geekbench so let me show you the scores now. And as you can see on Antutu we got a score of 18,675 and I also ran Geekbench and here we got a single core score of 354 and a multi core score of 1172 which is again decent now let's do some gaming we'll start with sonic dash and then move to these heavy games so let's start with sonic dash now uh, one thing to notice that it looks like it has dual speakers it's a front firing speaker but the speaker is only at the bottom over here uh, this is just the earpiece another unique thing is that it also has a front firing flash for selfie so that's unique and regarding this product this product is sold in india currently via snapdeal.com and it's selling for around 12000 bucks and uh, internal storage is also good it has 16 gigs of internal storage so as you can see it runs this game pretty well Again, as you can see, it is running this uh, game pretty well. And the touch response is also pretty good. Uh, let's move out of these games and let's now quickly move to some heavier games. So this is Asphalt Day. Let me show you the graphics settings. I'm keeping it on medium graphic settings because at very high graphic settings there was a little bit of choppiness and again do note that it's a 720p HD screen. As I mentioned earlier the screen quality is pretty decent uh, but the color accuracy is not the best and I'm using the on screen steering. So as I told you the saturation is a little bit high, so the blue looks a lot bluer. Uh, it looks like an AMOLED uh, screen, they try to mimic that I would say. But uh, blacks are not the truest blacks, I would say. That's the only con I have with the, in terms of color accuracy. But the screen looks pretty good. And as you can see, it's able to handle this uh, asphalt aid pretty well on the medium graphic setting. One thing to do, uh, note is that I expected that the sound output via the speakers would be a lot louder as it is a front firing speaker but it's not very loud. Decent but not very loud I would say. But in terms of touch response uh, it's pretty good and looks like it's playing this game pretty well. Uh, one thing to notice that on this device, uh, the standby time is incredible. I just had one single sim, not my primary, secondary on which I do not get a lot of calls. And uh, I would say I just took about half an hour of calls on that uh, sim in a week and it lasted me almost a week. Uh, at the end of 7 days, I still had about 20% uh, charge. So the standby time on this device is incredible but again i did test it with just a single sim not all the three sims this device has three sim card support so as you can see it is playing this uh, level very well 
let's also try one more level and see how it handles it so this is the tokyo level uh, we'll just play this for a minute or two then move to modern combat 5 and i have been gaming now for almost nine odd minutes It's using the Mali 400 GPU which is okay I would say but is kind of outdated now, kind of old. Oops. And again I noticed some frame drops. Uh, it is sort of struggling up a little bit more on this level compared to the prior level. But still playable I would say. So it's playing this uh, Asphalt 8 uh, decently I would say not uh, it is skipping a few frames here and there not the smoothest but I would say very much playable unless you have played Asphalt 8 on a high end smartphone uh, you won't notice that it is very much playable I would say uh, so let's move out it's been over 12 minutes since we are gaming so let's look at the temperature as you can see here it is becoming a little bit hot around 41 degrees celsius and on the back again about 40 uh, the same uh, yeah it did touch about 42 so yes it is getting a little bit uh, hot but not very hot i would say so let's get out of this and let's try modern combat fine now and again blacks look a little bit on the bluish side Another good thing is that it has 16 gigs of internal storage and it can also accept a micro SD card and the good thing is that you can set the storage to micro SD card hence thereby all the apps, games etc will be installed to the micro SD card. So storage is not an issue with this device. In fact uh, I've put the SD card and all these games are installed actually on the SD card. So let's continue so far pretty good i noticed some dot frames but uh, not bad at all i would say considering the price of this device it's uh, just about uh, 12,000 in india that's just about 200 us dollars And as you can see, it does be able to handle it pretty well. Getting the water effect also. So we are done with this level also. And it's been around 17 minutes since we were gaming. So let's look at the temperatures. And again, as you can see, around 40, 40-ish degrees Celsius here. And on the back, again, about 42 degrees Celsius. So yes, it's getting a bit warm, but not very hot, I would say. Uh, this portion is getting a little bit warm and even uh, this portion. So let's get out of this game. So what do I feel about the gaming performance of this Acer Liquid E? 
700. I would say for gaming, it is performing decently, but don't expect that it will run all the games at the highest setting. For the smoothest playback, I had to keep the graphics setting at medium level. Also in Modern Combat 5, though it played it pretty well, but there were some frame drops at times. So even uh, for gaming, it is decent. Another good thing is, as I told you, it has ample internal storage. Internal storage that we get with this device is 16 gigabytes, and also it has micro SD card support, and you can install the apps directly to the SD card. I'll also be posting the full in-depth review for this device very soon. So if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit, and I hope to see you in my next video.